What is up everybody? My name is Brian. Welcome to my channel to show you guys how I make my uh, long boards and today I'm actually going to make a jib board. This is basically the same thing as how you make your long boards but uh, this jib board is just going to help uh, with my uh, progression in snowboarding. But anyways, some, some of the things that you'll actually need is going to be a uh, um, some Baltic birch, that three millimeter. We're going to be getting about uh, three piles of those and I'll show you how we're going to go through that but some uh, some tight bond three glue just some waterproof stuff um, a roller to, to, uh, to roll the glue across as well as we got t-nuts as well as machine screws and um, just like some other tools hand tools some of the power tools you're going to be needing like drills uh, a sander would be nice um, even if you have a router, that'd be nice too. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to cut down um, your Baltic birch. It normally comes in 60 by 60 inches. My board is gonna be about 40 inches in length and 10 inches wide. You're gonna be sanding some of it down, so it's probably gonna end up about nine and three quarters of an inch. So um, if you gotta go wider than that, just make sure that you're gonna go wider. Just kinda of, uh, judge that. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need is gonna like a clamping system. So what I have here is what I've used for my long boards. This side is more for my long boards where I have the concave and convex for, uh, but anyways, to, to get the fill. But where I'm making a jib board, I want it to have a flat base. So I'm just gonna flip it over, uh, use this as my flat base. Uh, the clamps that I use, hardware from Home Depot. Just like that, put it together, put, drill a couple holes in your two by fours, put them together. Make sure you use washers. If you don't have washers, it's not going to work. You got to have washers. Um, so I'm going to use that, spread that across here, show you how it's done. But first, we need to glue it up. Okay, so after each piece you apply, you're going to want to flip it over. Make sure you do it on both sides. And uh, when you do do this, just make sure that you get all of the corners really good. And don't be too shy with this stuff. It can go on thick. Oh Slapping them together, you want to make sure that one side is going to be, have the flush side. It helps you out in the long run. And this way, you don't have to do as lot of um, as much cutting, and just basically just be fat, sanding down that straight edge. So. Okay, put these bad boys together just like that. Let them stick. We're gonna keep everything on the ends and just trim off what we don't use. Like I said, it's gonna be a 40 inch board. Find the middle on my 48 inches. Half of 48 is 24. There is our middle. So I just wanna make sure that my middle is lined up with that middle. I'm gonna do it on both sides. So. Beautiful. Okay, kind of spread these out about there. Kind of slide this bad boy in. And then center these lines up. Ones we made earlier, one right here, one right here. Make sure they're straight on there. Two on the outskirts. Okay, once we have that, let's just tighten them down.
Okay, so now that I have it all in the vise, uh, my little homemade vise here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these little clamps and then place them out throughout the whole board. Um, and we're just going to let this sit for a good, oh, I'd say 48 hours, probably be a good idea. And then um, come back to it, pop it open, hope everything went well, and just go from there. So we'll see you in about 48 hours. Okay, it's been 48 hours since we've uh, done this. Now it's time to just pry it open. Not too bad. Not too bad. And there's our uh, there's our deck. Now I just gotta go to the drawing board, get us the shape, and cut it out. Now that we have it all cut out, it's starting to take shape, starting to look like what it's supposed to be. And uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, figure out how to uh, install our bindings onto our uh, onto our board here. So what I've got, like I said before, I got some T nuts and some machine screws. These are going to be uh, placed on here, just and that's where it's going to tie tie our, our bindings onto our board. So. I'll probably have four of these drilled in, and then that is exactly what's going to be tying our bindings to our board. So, get with that. Some of the things that you'll probably need, because uh, you want to kind of keep it straight, so you want to have a, <coughs> you're going to want to have a square, you're going to want to have a tape measure, uh, a die punch, as well as like uh, JB Weld and uh, your machine screws. Uh, a drill with a uh, spade uh, bit on it, seven eighths, just enough to get the diameter of that <coughs> so it sits flush right under our board. But I'll show you how we do that. You're going to want to measure your uh, your actual snowboard and see how far apart you have your stance on your bindings, and then that's going to judge on yours. So I measured mine. Mine's going to be about 22 inches from the middle of my disc here. So I'll have them. Uh, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to go 11 inches from my center. Okay, so this will be the center of my binding discs. So that bad boy is going to go right here. So our full measurement across here is about 10 and an eighth. Um, so we'll have to go about five and a sixteenth. Five and a sixteenth. Kind of just draw a little line that'll. There's our center point. Drop dead center. Just in case if you gotta move it at all. Okay, perfect on that side. And do the same thing on this side. And your die. So what I'm doing this for is to basically help guide our drill. So when we're drilling down into this to make our little scoop holes, it goes straight down.
Now just double check, make sure it's all flat on that side and uh, that's gonna be your base side. Okay, so now that we got it flipped over, we're gonna start trying to clear these little pockets out for our T-nuts. So our machine screws can freely get into it. Just like that, so perfect. To get done sanding it, you're going to want to take a, a microfiber cloth and uh, take care of any impurities, aka sawdust. We're going to add some uh, polyurethane to it. Uh, that's just going to basically seal up the board, um, kind of make it waterproof too. It's not like I'm going to take it outside, but it's you know something to protect it too. But first, what I need to do before I apply this is I need to take some of these uh, Q-tips, cut them like this. So place them in the T-nuts, and then this way, while we apply the polyurethane, it's going to keep, well, the plan is to keep the polyurethane out of our T-nut. Get some of this polyurethane. Make sure you get gloves, and also make sure you have the well-ventilated area that you're in, um, just because if you don't, you could pass out very easily. Start moving it across the board. Make sure you get these sides really good. They get thirsty. All right, we've reached uh, our favorite part, uh, the setup. If you haven't seen my uh, DIY sandboard, go check that out. You should have a suggestion up here on the screen. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bindings off my sandboard and put it on my jib board. So it seems to be working out perfect so far. Uh, I only have a small jump, gotta get uh, used to it first. Um, just had knee surgery last month, so gotta get through that. So that's it, that's how we make our jib board. So uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, subscribe, because I'll probably be doing more of these kinds of uh, deck boards. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in next time. Mm -hmm.